I'm Mike Freeze. I'm a fish farmer and, and happen to be vice president of Arkansas Farm Bureau. But you know, most people think when you talk about uh, rain that rain uh, doesn't really have an impact on fish farmers. Uh, this is probably the greatest impact that this this flood of this year has had on us. Is this is our bridge, and I know you're going to have to take my word at for it because you can't see it. And this is the the deepest we've ever had water over this bridge. And we've got baby fish on the other side of this bridge that we need to be taking care of and feeding. It's kind of like if you're in the cattle industry and your cattle are stranded, our fish are stranded on the, the other side of Indian Bio and we can't get to them. What a lot of people don't realize is that rainwater is actually uh, very bad for, for the hatching and, uh, of fish eggs and for, and for baby fish because you know rainwater is basically distilled water and if you take any fish and put it in distilled water you're going to kill it. Luckily we're kind of in between stocking of our, our two major crops our hybrid striped bass and our grass carp so we're not stocking any baby fish right now but with as much rainfall as we've had some of our ponds we're worried how that's going to affect the chemistry in the ponds is going to have a, an impact on the baby fish and their food supply. As long as our outside levees don't overtop we're pretty safe now there are some fish farms unfortunately and even the USGA ARS research station down at Almira, uh, their ponds have gone under and when that happens it's really a catastrophe because you have water from the bow or a ditch that, that uh, overtops all your ponds. Well now all of your fish are co-mingling, wild fish are coming in and your fish are swimming out and it's really uh, just creates a, a horrible mess because you don't know what you got in the pond, so you've got to try to harvest them, salvage what you can, and even when you can salvage it, they're contaminated with wild fish, and you've got disease issues, etc. So uh, it's almost better to start over from scratch. The farmers I've talked to, some of them, I mean, it varies from from everything. You've got a wheat farmer that was about to harvest his winter wheat crop, and now there's the wheat is sprouting, and he can't even, you know, he can't get into it because, uh, you know, it may be a couple of inches of water in the field. Uh, or you've got uh, you know the farmers that haven't been able to plant a large part of their crop because of all the rain we've we've had, and then those that did have it have it planted. Sometimes you know they may have soybeans three or four inches tall and they're getting underwater. They know they're going to lose them. You know Mother Nature tends uh, sometimes uh, uh, not to be as kind as we wish she she was to farmers, and this is one of those instances when you get this much rain.